Welcome Hello, back everybody. to the podcast Welcome where back. we are perfect and so are you. Thank you for joining us again and today we have a special treat for you. Yeah. And it is Sophia starring in OnlyFans. <laughs> That's well, the biggest lie, but like it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, Just I'm not kidding. starting an OnlyFans. But the world's not that lucky. This raises a question: Would people think you're a slut for having an OnlyFans, and would people think I'm a slut for having OnlyFans? I don't think they would. I think that they would think I'm fine and you're a whore. That's a double standard, isn't it, Sophia? Yeah, I guess people just wouldn't care. Like, like a man wouldn't date me. But you would date a man that has OnlyFans. I don't know. I wouldn't like, like, I wouldn't be able to bring them home to my parents now. Like, I wouldn't be able to like, also like, ooh. well, I don't, I mean, I don't want to like, I don't know. I don't want to judge anyone for anything. Like, do whatever you want. Teach either. your own, get your bag. But like, I personally wouldn't want OnlyFans and I personally wouldn't want to date somebody that's doing OnlyFans. That doesn't mean I don't, wouldn't be their friend. Like, I love them. Like, I could love them so much. Like, love talking yeah. to them. But, like, I just wouldn't date someone like that. I wouldn't either. Okay. I just don't I'm think really I could do it. really glad we agree on that. I don't think I could do it. Just, uh, you Wait, know. Wait, what kind of OnlyFans, though? Because you could have OnlyFans and, like, just post bikini pictures. It's never just bikini pictures, Sophia. Okay. I've told you this. Okay, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I forgot. It's always more. You're or right. always turns into more. If it's successful, they're not going to stop at bikini pictures. I don't want to judge and, like, whatever. If you love your body and you want to, like, sell it, then, like, go for it. It's, an at, it's something you own and you can make money off of. It's just, like, I don't really... I don't feel comfortable with you talking like because part of the OnlyFans career is talking to people and like flirting and which I didn't know until recently. Yeah. Constantly surrounding sex and stuff with other people. So like I just, you know, I'm going to leave that to other people. You want to date OnlyFans people. That's totally dope. And I love that for people you. in the sex, whatever you call it. You guys, industry. And I love all of you. I love everyone equally. I think it's wonderful for you and i would be best friends and i would be hyping you up the whole time but i personally wouldn't date also i'm looking to get married and have kids and i'm looking for a husband i'm not really like looking to like date and like have fun you know like i'm looking for a husband so i don't really think my husband's gonna be doing only fans right but you never know it's always the people you're not looking for and the opposite of like what you're trying to find that ends up being attracted to you and you I think we know. I think we both can say that we've we've experienced that recently. Sure, you never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. You never ever know and Right. Love is a little I, blind. And we both have very open minds. Mm-hmm. If a guy does OnlyFans, maybe you're like, well, oh, I get don't your really bag, think a get guy, your bag. You, a guy usually doesn't really get labeled as like a whore or a slut. Because guys when they do stuff like that, they're the king. Mm-hmm. And when women do it, like, they're not. Right. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying. Uh, okay. Well, let's talk about in a second why this came up in conversation recently between me and you. And then also, I want to talk about a post that I saw yesterday on Instagram. And I don't know. This is something I recommended, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what this says about me. But okay. it, the title said... <laughs> This girl is trying to break her record this year and have sex with 600 men. <laughs> and I was like, wow, that's a lot of people. And then she was like, last year I had sex with 365 people. She's a porn star. But I was like, that's a, that's a lot of work. I was like, wow, that's one a day or multiple every other day. I was like, I don't even know how you, how do you even find those people? I don't know how this works, but there's a lot of logistics that go into that. Like that's, that's a lot of work. Uh, that's, a full-time job. I mean, it's her job. So I was reading the comments, though, because I was like, what do people think about this? Because on one hand, I'm like, good for you. On the other hand, I'm like, that just seems dangerous. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, it's like, just seems a little dangerous. Wait, well, okay. And then I was reading and people were like, oh, well, uh, you know, half the comments were like, she's a whore. Like, she's ran through. She's this, this, and that. Well, she, I mean, she, like, she yeah, is a whore. She is a whore. <laughs> <laughs> but and like I, yeah it's kind of just the truth and no then, like i don't think there's anything wrong with being a whore but like right. if you are but like she's she's getting paid 
to do to it. do that and that is like literally the definition which it's fine like people just think the word whore is bad like if you're sleeping around with multiple men for money like that's I mean, like, oh, you're not, like, a saint. Right. But then the other comments were, like, a lot of girls standing up for her and saying, oh, if a guy did this, you'd all be patting, no, patting her on the back. True. and like, If a guy did that, we'd all also think he was disgusting. I would also, yeah. Yeah, 365 would, is crazy. But, like. No, 600. And 600, in, yeah, that's <laughs> not even. I This is, like, so, like, this So is, I don't even, yeah, people were trying to make it into, like, a double standard thing. No, and yeah, was, there's like, a double standard, like, so. if you. Yeah, there's a double standard, but that's just ridiculous. Yeah, if you're a boy and you sleep around, you're a king. And if you're a girl and you sleep around, you're a whore, which is disgusting. But, like, there is a double standard. Yeah. I've also been watching a lot of 18th century, like, shows and mm -hmm. things. And it does kind of make sense, like, w how these, like, double standards became a thing. Because women have come such a long way since not even that long ago. And obviously some of those, like beliefs still carry on to today like the woman should save herself till marriage type of thing and like that was like the standard back then which is like so crazy to think about but like if you even were seen kissing a guy you were labeled a whore and then the guy was at like the brothels and hooking up with like 10 yeah, but girls now a day. like now it's not even close to that now like everyone's like it's cool for girls now to like i don't know well i think i think I think people like call her daddy have like pushed that boundary of like just embracing being a whore and like <laughs> I don't know if I should be calling what's her fate Alex Cooper a whore but I'm sure she's not I just no, like, I think she not. like wanted that to be her image and I she's think she did. She's not but like the podcast was started off of like these crazy crazy stories yeah and that's what the podcast started and out as now she's the female joe now she's a female joe rogan but it started out as like this huge thing and she pushed the boundary of talking about crazy things mm -hmm. but i don't i don't know another double standard that actually i just realized is a double standard is when <laughs> i feel like you always think i'm picking on you when i bring up things about you no it's okay <laughs> <laughs> I'm just bringing up instances, but you're just, I feel like okay. you're going to get mad at me for this one too. When you said today that you like, you think that a guy should text you first. Yeah, he should text me first. I, I'm trying to think wait, where the I, double standard is there, wait, but wait, I'm wait. like, I, no, yeah. Like there is, I believe in double standards. Like I yeah, yeah, love yeah. them. I don't, I literally love double standards. Like I want to be a princess and I want you to treat me like a princess. I think you should open my door. I think you should be like the, a gentleman I think you should treat me like gold I think you should plan the dates yeah I don't know I feel like I'm I feel like the women are the prize and the men should come to me like I don't think I should ever text a man first but that's not a double standard let's see the definition of double standard a ruler principle which is unfairly applied in different ways to different people or groups so like yeah like I think a man should pay for dinner that's a double standard well you're not making it a rule I mean I guess maybe like the double standard like like, you if, have to pay for dinner, but I'll never pay. That's a double standard, I guess. Yeah. Which I vibe with that for sure. Why not, right? Yeah. Like Is a double standard negative? I like, when it comes to, like, equal rights, like, politically, like, <laughs> yeah, I want to be, like, completely equal as any man, but I also don't think I should be equal in social norms. Yeah. I think that there should be a red carpet rolled out for me when a man's like trying to take me to dinner and I think he should be generous and stoic and kind and treat me like a princess. And you deserve that. I think and every he woman deserve deserves their that. doesn't shit. And men... He should be fucking lucky <laughs> yeah, I, to even open the I door that, for you. I think that in relationships, men and women are both lucky for different reasons, but I think that, you know, I want to be treated like a princess. You know, women have done a great job at like... <laughs> getting the best of all worlds <laughs> like good for them like wait no that's not true <laughs> i'm just thinking Men, like there are not um, like <laughs> again back to the 18th century thing like the standards were women just had babies and got married that was their only job in life thank i and you wish. don't even raise the children either you just oh. have the babies and you pop them out one by one and that's you're just pregnant your whole life mm -hmm. have as many as you can Boom, we're good. Then the guys would work, support everybody. That was basically it. I think that's all they did. 
and yeah. have and help have the babies yeah. <laughs> and have but fun making babies the men like got to have all the fun and like go out and like sleep around and women had to be like caged in and like that was their only mm. thing they could do now women get to have the fun have the cake and eat it too <laughs> have the fun have the babies have the husband who pays for things have the man open the door for you do all the things cook sometimes like but cook no you man, meals not, not a lot of men do that there aren't that many men that are like doing that now you don't think i i feel like more and more it's I like, feel like men I are doing probably would have found one of them <laughs> at least maybe it's just like i've been on maybe, maybe six dates in the past two years <laughs> that's so that that's my first problem <laughs> And I had to split the bill, like, probably a couple times. And I'm like, I don't even know you. Like, you want <laughs> me to, like, hang out with you? You're, like, a you're a roommate now. You're, like, a, you're a friend. You're a mere friend. You're barely a friend. You're barely hanging on. Yeah, like, you expect me the to... The prize, the jewel. To, like, go... I don't know. All right. We have some double standards here that I'm going to read. Brought to us by fans and followers at out of touch underscore podcast on instagram.com guys can gain weight but if a woman does she's letting herself go or she's being lazy Catherine said that no i mean guys appearances don't look don't don't matter guys appearances don't matter as much to women and the appearance matters a lot to men so yeah i guess that is a double standard but either way if somebody gains weight they're like gaining weight like you're both yeah, letting yourself scrutinize go. women for it for what <laughs> i think that listen True. it's also a it's also kind of like a double-edged sword because if people didn't care about women's weight they also wouldn't care about like i don't know how to say this in a in a, a sort of politically right way but people don't care the way men dress or the way they look or their bodies most of the time and therefore men don't get as many opportunities with like fashion and like men people are not like putting men on the covers of vogue by themselves right. you know because people don't give a fuck what they wear and what they yeah. do but they do care about what women wear and what they do and that also becomes a very lucrative like mm -hmm. aspect to a woman like you guys can sell your like your the way you look is like an, a huge asset when you're a celebrity mm -hmm. Where it isn't for a man. It's all about like what their profession is, which I think can be like really useful mm -hmm. as a woman. Like I die, I would die to like wear a gown and people would, like write stories about it. Like that'd be yeah, so cool. That would be but, sick. like men don't get that. That doesn't happen. Yeah. So I think that's why like it just became the norm to like scrutinize women because they are the ones people look at for the inspiration, not men. Because women are art. Yeah. And they're beautiful. That's why I think every woman should be treated like a princess. So I don't know. It's like double, definitely double standard, but it's like not, I don't know if it's like, I think sometimes things just need to be the way they need to be just because they, they nothing's ever always sunshine and sparkles. You yeah. Know? Also women can do anything and get anything done. And at the same time they can carry a baby. I'm like, you can like go to work and carry a baby and then this man's like treating you like garbage like you don't need this man sometimes when women say like oh you can have it all and they have like four children and like working as a ceo i'm like there's different hours in your day than me i feel like yeah Something's how many hours do you have <laughs> something's different yeah, there than it is for me because i don't have any kids and i'm exhausted <laughs> <laughs> exhausted. yeah those women are like superheroes yeah, are they just know. not sleeping? No, they're not sleeping. They obviously have the kids probably go to school. They probably like didn't work for f the first five years and then oh, something something's a little sus there. All right, my ex husband would write a list of things I needed to improve on, but I couldn't write a list for him. McKenna said that he wrote a list. <laughs> <laughs> I was like watching the, the wheels turn in Sophia's head. <laughs> he took the time out of his day to write a list that's, about the things that he doesn't like about you. First of all, that's an ick. That's the biggest ick I've ever heard. So he wrote a list about what he doesn't like. And yeah, that, I mean, like, I mean, what does he look like? You know, like. What is, what? Not good enough. Nobody looks good enough to have that to say that. I appreciate the list, actually, but you should both be able to exchange lists. No, you don't have to write anything down. If it comes up, say it in the moment. But you don't write things down in the list. <laughs> Why? 
He might be better. He might be better at writing than he is verbally. The girl might be better at reading her problems. Yeah. No, I think that would probably. <laughs> no. You don't like that communication style. No, I don't. Okay. And she can't figure out anything to write about him. That's a lie. You could. You just don't want to. You're too nice. I got scolded by my ex for wearing my body hair. I'm non-binary. He never shaved at all. That was by Cindy. Okay, so they're non-binary and they have hair. Like, that's crazy because he... Like, he shouldn't... You shouldn't be able... He shouldn't be able to dictate your body hair unless you can. However... It might just be a preference for him where I think it, it is a norm for women to have little to no body hair. So you can't blame the fact that like it's been probably a hundred years of people having little body, women having little body hair and it's become something yeah. that people have been, have kind of stuck with. Um, he might have a preference and that is such a double standard that is so annoying. And if you annoying. don't want to shave, don't do your thing and if he can't live with that that's his problem but like that is such an annoying double standard and if that's something that's really important to you to have that body hair that's not the guy for you yeah for but sure if it isn't that important for you i would just shave <laughs> we're not getting advice but that would be my advice <laughs> yeah i want to have an open relationship and be able to date other people but they can't okay right. not you a, can't not have advice. the best of both worlds but yeah that's that's a double standard and that's a crazy one. <laughs> that's a crazy one. Oh yeah, that one. You know, that's a classic double standard. That's like I've heard crazy. that many times in my life. I want to cheat on my girlfriend, but like she's not allowed to. You're a loser. I think a actually. woman wrote that, by the way. Okay, so she could, <laughs> could she not have a girlfriend? Whoa! <laughs> I double crossed you. I double crossed you <laughs> so hard. That's you. <laughs> oh my god double cross that's a very toxic double standard and i don't think that's good one to no, have it's a stupid one i think it's a bad one to have i think bad but like some of the double standards are fun and they're cute <laughs> like girly you know like oh all right i have an essay to read oh and i don't god. know if i'm gonna get through it so let me just try all right we're gonna read a few things on this piece of paper something that you said men can have a lover at any age just because they're men and apparently that's what feeds their ego However, when a woman gets involved in a romantic relationship in her teenage years, she will get called inappropriate names and be shamed for it. I know, that's the craziest double standard in the world. And the craziest thing about it is actually, you know, women are upset that they get called a whore if they have a f little bit of fun on the weekends. And then the first thing a woman will say when they hit another woman is call them a whore. It's like you don't like being called a whore, but then you're going to call somebody else a whore. It's crazy. It's absolutely bon bonk. It's I think what the bloody love hell. Being called a whore. You like being called a whore? Yes. That's crazy. Call me a whore. You like being called a whore? Yeah, why not? But you're not a whore. I'm a fucking whore. No. <laughs> but you're not though. I'm not. But if you no. call me one, I'd be like. <laughs> but like whores get paid. You would do it for free. I know. I'm like so a you're cheap a whore. No, you're a free whore. A free slutty whore. It's crazy. I just love words. I actually words. hate the word whore. Oh, I just said I love it at the same time. I was going to be like, I hate it, but like I like it. All right, whore. <laughs> Listen up, slut. Okay, baby. When girls surround a man, he's popular and a heartthrob. While if it's the other way around, the woman gets slut shamed. I know. I get slut shamed all the time because all the men surround me. It's like. People just automatically think you're a slut. I think think it's because i got canceled for being a slut no it's because you're childbearing hips thank you I, and it's also because like yeah i definitely have the body type for a male gaze and then but i think that women appreciate my like smile like my i'm like smiley and happy but they don't like it after the fact that like their boyfriend they think their boyfriend would sleep with me have you ever heard the hair the theory about the hair no how like you know when you're when you go out like sometimes your hair gets a little curly and frizzy yeah <laughs> uh, all the time you mean <laughs> apparently like, like men love a girl without like what when it looks like they did their hair but like it's imperfectly done yeah my hair's always imperfectly I done. i know and i think that's why i think that's the reason <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah maybe that's really nice of you to say <laughs> i hope so i'm yeah, like, like your hair's so fucked up that every man loves you <laughs> no i think that i don't care if men you know, like a woman. But the craziest thing is when a woman gets a lot of men, the women hate that woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're like, I hate you. 
for no reason. Do you want to tell a story about last night? So the other day I went to an event and I don't really go to events that much. I like love going to events if they're big and fun and cool. Uh, I went to a movie premiere and I love movie premieres more than anything. And I wanted to go up to this one guy that was in the cast and he's like the coolest guy ever. I've loved him forever. I had a crush on him when I was like 12. I thought he was the best. And I was mingling with everyone I knew there and a few girls that I like and I'm like friendly with everyone. A few girls went up to them, went up to the guy that was in the movie and was like, Oh, like amazing. They got a photo. Everyone in the entire room was getting a photo with this man. He's like the main character in the movie and he did such a great job. And like hundreds of people were getting photos. He was being so, so friendly, amazing guy. And everyone in the room got a photo with him except me. And I was like, oh, to these girls, I went up to them just to start a casual conversation about whatever I could think of in the moment. I was like, oh, like I love him. Like, I had the biggest crush on him. He's the best. Like, I, like, think he's so fun and cool. He, like, did so amazing in the movie. Like, you guys got a photo with him. That's awesome. Like, I would love to get a photo, too. And they were like, oh, my God, no. Like, don't be that girl. Like, he has a wife. And I was like, I, I said this. I was like, I wouldn't touch him if my life depended on it. <laughs> like, I don't understand why you think, like, everyone in the room can get a photo and then like I say like oh like I love him like and I'm gonna try to what like sleep with him like yeah that's the most absurd comment I was so it was so rude to say that like I couldn't believe somebody would say that's my face like I would never in my life do that ever ever like just because I could doesn't mean I would so I just think there was kind of a double standard there just because like you would not say that to a man like, if he was going up to Megan Fox, like, I want to go take a picture with Megan Fox. Oh, it's because you... Well, like, I don't guess, don't sleep with... Like, like, don't sleep with her, bro. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> what? No, like, it. first of all, like... Like, don't do that. No, people would be like, do it. Like, like also, go like, and sleep with her. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I was like... I don't know. Also, like, she called me, like... Like, she basically just called me a whore. Like, why would I ever do that? Like, I don't know the guy. Like, I'm not going to throw myself at a random man. I don't care if he's in the movie or not. Thank you for that story. Don't worry about it. Okay, by the way, everyone, I'm a woman of God. I do not <laughs> participate in any activities. I also don't judge anyone. Why? Is God judging you for having sex? God is the only person that has the right to judge. Except for me. I mean, we all make mistakes. None of us are perfect. So, I mean, I don't know. Like... Who are you to judge? Like you've made mistakes before. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Never. not me. You know what um Miley Cyrus said? What? I probably Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Yeah. Everybody knows what? What I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way. That was Hannah Montana, not Miley Cyrus. It's different. Idiot. How many of those lip plumping lip glosses do you own? I'm glad you asked. All right. <laughs> So Maybelline sent me <laughs> a few boxes of these and I use them every day, all day long. And everybody always asks for my lip routine. Wait, what do you mean a few boxes? Like boxes. <laughs> no, actually, it's like a waste of my space. Wait, how many? The lip I have the 50 of them. <laughs> I have 50. I have two of each color. Wait, why? They, I don't know. I guess they I guess they just wanted to give me a... I think they know I like it. I think they know I like it. How yeah. do they know? Because I'm from Jersey and I want some lip plump in me. <laughs> I what just hate mean? that they're square like that. I, oh, <laughs> they're not paying us for this, so it's fine. I don't like packaging on any, any of the lip glosses that I like. Oh. Not just Maybelline. I don't like this, but if I were 16, I would love it. So I get, I get the appeal. Also, it's like $15 probably. What are your favorite lip glosses? I love this lip plump. You I love the love Dior. I do. I like like a silver clean Dior looking package, but I honestly think the Clarins lip oil is just as good and it's a third of the price. So like, mm. I also would never buy, like I'm not going to like, if I run out of that Dior lip gloss, I'm not buying it again. It's like $60. Did they send it to you? No. Oh. I stole it from my mom if I'm going to be honest. Oh. <laughs> I like your lips. Thank you so much. I also have a couple lip liners that I love. Also, the reason I love my lips and my lip plump and my lip liner is because I think that naturally I have like a very pale everything. Like mm. I'm naturally blonde, blonde eyelashes, blonde eyebrows. My lips are naturally 
not pink. Like they're naturally like kind of like a really, really light pink. Do you ever do like a lip stain? I don't want to do anything permanent to my face. No, a lip stain. Yeah, no, I have a Bennett tint lip thing that I put in the morning, put on in the morning. No. You don't like Bennett I, I know, I just got, I just got a different thing. Shut up, really? From Amazon. Yeah. They okay. have ones that, pe- the ones that peel off. Oh yeah, the freaky ones that like everyone does? They stay for two days. All right, I'll do those. And they're great. I like, I always liked Bennett tint because like, I'll put it in my bag in the summer and I'll just like use it for my whole face and I'm like blush. Oh yeah, you did that in St. Bart's. Yeah, and we I bring would up St. Bart's every second of every yeah, day. Yeah, can we We like, got a new memory. Can we get like one new <laughs> thing about us? Like I think what we have to do I think we should do do a staycation and like be in That's a good idea. You think so? I should go to Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> in the summer you should come to Jersey and you'll be like, oh no, my god. No, we should stay at a hotel in, on Jersey Shore. Yeah. We should. With like, like well, the my most parents have a house, ratchet ho- so the like, most ratchet one. I would absolutely never do that. Should stay in a ratchet it? hotel in Jersey? Yes. Let's ask the audience. Should we stay in a ratchet hotel in Jersey? The answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no. Okay, let me ask you a question because I'm bored of reading these. Do you, Sophia Lacourt, think that double standards are okay or they're bad? I think they're great. I love double standards. I walk down the street and I see a sign where it says men working and I thank God. Of course they should be. What do you mean? Why wouldn't they be working? But you don't want to work. No, I would love not to work, but like I have to work. Yeah. Until I get a man that will let me just have his babies. <laughs> <laughs> but I like I want to be in a movie. I want to be in like a couple movies and like but my main goal in life is to be a mom and I want to raise my children. I don't want to have to go to work and have a nanny raise my children. Are you from like a, a different time period? I wish. I feel like I... I I feel feel like like you got stuck. (laughs) Like, I feel like you went time traveling and got stuck here. Yeah, that's so true. I feel like that too. Because, like, I walk down the street and I love that everybody has a different sense of style. And then I'm like, where's, like, the ball gown? Like, (laughs) like, why is nobody wearing, like, like, a corset cinched thing with a, like... I'm surprised you don't even even like those shows, though. You're so right. I don't like time... I don't like period. period pieces. Oh my God, I love them. I don't love period pieces. No, I didn't. Did you watch Bridgerton? Yeah. I, I watched like the first few episodes, episodes and I didn't like it. But I also, you know what? I don't think I like the ends of the extreme. I didn't like Euphoria. I actually hated Euphoria. You need to watch Queen Charlotte. Okay. Yeah, you always tell me to watch that. And, and I want I'm you always... to watch it so bad. No, but if I found something that I was super, super passionate about, like I love acting. I enjoy it so much. If I had a career in acting... And I also had kids at the same time. That'd be great. But in general, I want like a man to give me the opportunity to just not that it's not a huge job. It's a huge job to have children and raise them. But I want a man to give me the opportunity to hopefully be a mom, a full time mom. How is that a double standard, though? A double standard like men go to work and women have babies. And it's like if a man does just a standard, if men (laughs) If a man didn't want to go to work, I'd be like, ew. Do you think double standards are okay? You know, I think there's a time and place for everything. And there's definitely a time and place for double standards. I think that we've definitely talked a lot about about double standards in our life. And we're like, yeah, I mean, you know, you should be able to do that. And I should not be able to do that. Or like, they should be able to not do that. And And of course, none of these are like set things. Like if something is different, I don't care. But in general... You do something, I do something. It's also like double standards have a lot to do with like, um, like the way you look. So some not things that you like actually tell somebody to do or are doing. Like pretty privilege. It's like men are often perceived as becoming more distinguished with age, while women may face pressure to maintain a youthful appearance. True. Well, because, I mean, yeah, that stinks for women, and that is right. That is like men age more gracefully i think and men and women you know they just fall apart no not (laughs) really like i think just men are attracted to more youthful look like which is weird like why are you attracted to an 18 year old i get it i don't understand though because um historically women having babies at a younger age is they tend to be healthier babies they tend to be healthier births Mm. tends to be easier so i think that 
instinctively men are probably looking for the youth to have the most optimal children yeah and then maybe the reason women find older men attractive is because they're less of an idiot and of an idiot and they have probably have more money they're probably the dumbest thing a lot there i mean so when women, you when i look at somebody that looks under the age of 25 i think you you you're just an idiot probably and i probably wouldn't be able to handle you for more than know. one week i don't think maturity with men is linear no it's not but generally if you're older you're more mature i don't think so at all really yeah if you take every 20 year old and put him against every 40 year old which group would be more mature mature how um, they don't go out like what or like no or like mature, they're mentally like, more like they're emotionally, they're emotionally more mentally. mature i don't think emotional matureness comes with age really at all maybe experiences you think? i actually think that older people are so much less mentally mature than younger people right mm. now. And I think for this, these generations, because we are so connected online and connected with our emotions and everybody has a therapist. Everybody has help with their emotions. Whereas people that are like 40 or 50 right now never had that and have no idea how to handle their emotions. So I find that most young people have better emotional capabilities than older people. Interesting. Mm hmm. Interesting. Especially when I look at my my parents you know, and I my don't parents' really have it. I have friends, non- like I just yeah. think like their whole like generation was fucked with emo- like emotional uh, stability. Right. Like it's a mess, and they still they like called their therapists like shrinks. Like it was like such a negative thing, and like every True. people would like hide the fact that they went to therapy. It oh. was like so it was horrible for their generation. So I don't think that I think I've met a lot of people who are older, and it's just like. They they don't even know what they're not there. There's no self awareness with emotional, interesting emotional shit. Yeah, I guess I really am not one to talk because I'm not old, and I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm the most mature. And I also don't go on dates ever. So mature. it's like you think I'm mature mm-hmm. for my age? Thank you. I think you're just mature in general. Thank you. Um, yeah, but I don't know. I guess I don't really meet that many men, and I don't go on any dates ever, which is my own fault. I but you shouldn't you a boyfriend? Shoot, you're right. Well, I don't like really meet that many guys out, so. Until this day, women are getting shamed for breastfeeding in public because apparently they are brazenly displaying their chest. While men can walk around completely topless. Make it make sense. It doesn't. It's a double standard and I hate that one. You hate that one? Well, Take I your just... titties out. <laughs> well, I just think like women's body is a woman's body is literally art like it's the most beautiful thing in the world and like nobody cares about a man's body like no offense like it's just a little bit weird that like just because you have a little extra fat on your chest it's like no i don't get it either but i I don't get it either but for some reason like women are so beautiful and so perfect that it can like cause a man to like maybe should that be the woman's fault or the man's fault it's a hundred and ten percent the man's fault but like what is a man gonna do about it they're they don't want to do that anyway yeah i mean also like i don't think the man is like like deciding for himself like oh i'm gonna be attracted to boobs yeah no exactly and i'm gonna be like aroused by boobs that's what like, i'm that's saying so like, like what could nature. he do that's you just know? like nature like what's he yeah what's he, he gonna can't do can't do anything i guess so I close guess his eyes i guess to. look away if women is sexually harass men it's seen as amusing rather than rapey yeah i agree with that yeah men are victims too women can like sure. grab an ass grab a guy's ass spank it and be like <laughs> <laughs> the moment do a guy do that? does that to a girl oof. okay but another double standard is like if a woman does it to a man like a man i'm sh- probably the man could probably beat her in a fight like give or take and then if a man does it to a woman probably the woman couldn't beat him in a fight so it's like when a man does it it's kind of scary and when a woman i'm not saying this is like a good or bad thing but like when a man does it, it's kind of scary because like they could just like kidnap them and then when a woman does this it's like okay like a 120 pound woman just like grab my ass like what am i gonna do about it yeah so that one's double okay. standard of, like let's men don't hit double, women i mean well let's leave that double standard women don't get blamed for dumping a man when a man dumps a woman he's afraid of commitment well, yeah because <laughs> women are the prize there's a double standard like i don't like, even know what, is that one true i don't i never heard that before like when a woman I don't know. You know what a double standard is? I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? When a man cheats on a woman, he's like 
a literal loser and when a <laughs> woman cheats on a man i'm like like go off sis like he probably sucked anyway <laughs> he's probably awful yeah you probably just like didn't want to dump him and like <laughs> yeah but like if a man cheated on a woman i'm like you're lit you're literally the dirt on her shoe <laughs> like what are you doing that for you've gone so low that is the worst double sin <laughs> I, that's like a, that's like you're sexist shocked. you even said it no that's like actually like a horrible way to think that's horrible no but it, well yeah like if a man cheats on their wife i'm like you are an undisciplined absolute dirt loser trash idiot <laughs> and then if a woman did it i'd be like uh, he whoops. deserved it no i'd be like oopsie no i would just think Sally, like oh what did he do you made to a mistake deserve that? No, oh my god that's horrible <laughs> This is horrible. <laughs> oh my god, I, I bet most people think like this. If we no, th- wait, did you see the TikTok about this yesterday? No. Somebody said this exact thing. Shut up. Yeah. Well, I guess everyone thinks he it. was like, "This is horrible Dude, and out say? of touch." But you know, he said out of touch. He was like, "But he's actually Australian, but I can't do an Australian accent." He was like, "But New Zealand." But you know, when a woman cheats on a man, it's like we we think it's kind of cunt. We think it's kind of cool. Oh my, what what did the comments say? Were Everybody they was like, yeah, I agree. Good. Women can beat up men all they want, but if we hit back, we're monsters. Yeah. No. I think this one's this one's a little bit of a... No, I don't, think, a, I don't, I don't think, think anybody should be hitting anybody. No one should be hitting anyone. But I do, I've seen girls beat up guys and be like really pissed off and they can get violent and the guy's not allowed to be like, like, get off of me. I know. Sometimes it fucking hurts. I mean, I don't think anyone should ever be hitting anyone, but, but like self-defense. Yeah, for sure. No, I don't. I don't know. Like if somebody's beating the shit out of you, what are you gonna do? Just stand wait, there? Like in a relate. Or what are you gonna do? Run like away? It, that like, would be more embarrassing. Wait, I have a question. Like in a relationship, like a girlfriend like slaps her boyfriend, or like in like in I think the school any hallway. Of, any of it. No, no. A man's allowed to fight a woman back if she's beating the shit out of him. A hundred percent. But like, if I piss you off, like a man's not allowed to like, if a man's not allowed to hit a girl if the girl pisses him off. Yeah, like, but a girl could like literally give a guy two black eyes and if yeah, but the then guy he could even, kill her. If the guy even like smacks her back, people are like, are you fucking. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You just, I'm yeah, like, because, yo, like, he's, he's defending probably, himself. Yeah, but he's probably like ten times as strong as her in general. Well, then don't fight a fucking guy, I guess. Yeah, I nobody, how about, no, but just nobody. I think fight. a woman that's hitting a man is absolute trash for sure. Guys are still expected to be the breadwinners. Hondo presento. <laughs> I hope so. We've established that. Um, yeah, I would love if my man was the breadwinner. I would be his biggest fan. Oh. When a man tries to be clean and proper and use makeup, do skincare, dress well, and many more girly things, they're shamed for it and people go around assuming their sexuality. I hate that one. Yeah, that one's stupid. I don't, I mean, I don't know. I think anyone should be able to do whatever. And like, yeah, maybe it's more feminine, but why do you care? Like, does it ruin your day? I just think it's funny because all women are always like, oh, I wish my, like, I'll have girlfriends hang out with like gay guys. And they're like, I wish my man would like oh, dress as well as you guys. Or I wish he would like groom himself as much as you guys do. You're so beautiful. This, that, and that. And then they do it. And they're like, are you gay? It's like, no, he can also take care of himself and be straight. Yeah, for sure. I don't really think doing something more feminine should make anyone question someone's sexuality. Like, first of all, who cares? Like, why are you asking? I think questioning someone's sexuality is like the weirdest thing in the world. Yeah, I think it's sick if you want to paint your nails and be a heterosexual man. Yeah, I think it's cool. I think if you want to wear a little makeup, a little sparkly eyeliner. Yeah, do it. Who cares? Do it. I like it. I love it. I think it's hot. Women are often assumed to be the primary caregivers for children, while men may face stigma or disbelief if they choose to be stay-at-home fathers or take on traditionally female roles in childcare. Well, someone's got to do it. And if the woman's a breadwinner, then you have to stay home and be the mom. That's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But generally, that's not how it goes. So, like, that's yeah. the double standard. Yeah, it sucks, it sucks. But somebody has to raise the kids. So, like, there's nothing wrong with the man staying home and raising the kids. No. Nothing at all. Somebody has to raise the double kids. Double standard. Yeah, the whole point of having, having kids is raising them. So, double do it, standard. you know? Imagine they just leave the kids at home because they don't want to, like, attest. Yeah, their- imagine they're, like, <laughs> let's both work and just, like, leave them for themselves. Like, just let them roll around. 
<laughs> like somebody has to go to work and somebody has to raise the kids. And if it happens to be like the man raising the kids at home, good for him. Speaking of That's kids. fun. And the woman wants to go to work. Awesome. Love that. Just as long as the Speaking kids are okay. Speaking of kids. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This has nothing to do with this topic, but I was like, I was watching a TikTok and this guy had like figured out a way of like putting his kids in between the couch cushions to like sleep. Yeah, I saw that. And all the comments were like, "You're gonna, you're gonna, your baby's gonna get like broken neck syndrome." <laughs> I don't know, like, like Dad. some weird like syndrome. And I'm like, I'm sure the kids are fine. <laughs> like, we know that's actually so funny because like, oh, that's actually so funny because my um my cousin like is <laughs> shaking neck syndrome. They come up with all this stupid shit. I'm like, just let the guy live. Yeah, like the dad's like coming up with these like intricate ideas of like how to like make the kids sit still. And like if everyone in the comments is like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> no, like no woman would do that. It's such a man thing to do. The neck support. Like, yeah, I hope we can find oh that TikTok God. so we can put it in. I, I remember seeing it, but it was like so funny. Um, but that's so funny because my cousins... <laughs> They are like the best parents in the world. And my cousin, who's a girl, she married into the family, would leave one of the children or the children with the husband for like two seconds. And then like something like crazy. Every <laughs> time they leave him alone, it'll be like, like his hand, like the kid's hands are like t glued to like a certain, <laughs> like it'll be the most random thing in the world. And I'm like, that only happens when like the men watch and also like one time at a family dinner one of the women all the women were outside and like one of the women like had to go to the restroom and for like maybe three seconds like hey like can you watch like the baby for a second all the men were like yeah of course and then somebody was like oh my god i got a new car do you guys want to go like see my new car all the men like leave the baby like just by itself like in the house and nobody remembers about the baby like and the like nobody's watching the baby and she asked to watch the baby for like two seconds and it's like men just really can't like they can't handle it they can't they can't handle it so they always do like the crazy things well to be fair to men i think they have a lot less years of experience under their belt watching kids like like historically over, yeah well i think women just naturally have that motherly instinct yeah you usually. also like pop the kid out yeah, women it. just naturally have that swag, you know? I think a double standard for me that I hate is the fact that I had to come out and straight people don't. Yeah. It's fucking annoying. And well, a, you didn't have to come out. And a huge double standard. Everybody forces you to. Oh, true. Society's like, wait, are you gay? And I'm like... What does it matter to you? <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not going to bring you home. Like, so. uh, every day of, like, middle school or, like, elementary school, ass being asked if you're gay. Yeah, everyone, Imagine, yeah. like, and you don't even know yourself. And Aww. everybody's just constantly asking you, like, are you, like, guys? Are you gay? And you're like, I don't even know what that means. Literally. That's so sad. That's I hope, annoying. I hope, my, one of, I hope my kids... I hope the world's different by the time I have kids and, like, it's, like, yeah. not, like, scary. But that's an annoying but, double know, standard. Yeah, how mean, about straight people should come that, out, too? Something else. Straight people should come out, too? Yeah. I don't think anybody should have to, like, say anything about anything. Well, you kind of have to, Sophia, unless you never want to have sex in your whole life. I only need to ha be with <laughs> one person. Like, that's the point of having a sexual orientation. Wait, but I only need to ha I, like, I only oh, need okay, to be with so my husband. Oh, okay, so do you want people to assume you like girls? They can assume whatever they want. I'd love You'll never find that. a guy, though, if people assume you like girls. That's incorrect. I'm sure my... I only, <laughs> need one, I only need one man in my entire life for the rest of my life. Like, I know, but he has to know you're available as a straight female. He can... He'll know. Like, he'll know. <laughs> Without you telling his, your sexuality? He'll know? Yeah, if he flirts with me and I flirt back. Like, and he's like, do you like guys? And they're going to be like, I don't talk about that. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, you could take me to dinner. Like... <laughs> sure <laughs> like of course first of all i wouldn't have like i, I don't know like I, yeah i'd flirt with him like i don't know but he can't know that you like guys oh he would know <laughs> like how would he know if i'm flirting with him and like making like advances like then yeah he'd know that i'd like him uh. my husband's gonna know that he like <laughs> that i like him I, what do you mean like of course he's gonna know that i like him also i only need I one guy 
I didn't ask if he was going to know if you like him. You just asked if he was going to know if I liked him. <laughs> no, I didn't. You're like, how is he going to know if you don't tell him that you're straight or whatever? You can like somebody and, and be gay. You're not going to have sex with them, though. It's oh, a I mean like in a romantic not, way. It's a sexual orientation. It's not a love orientation. Whatever. So They're just going to know that Sophia likes them because she's Sophia. And when a girl hits on you, what are you going to say? <laughs> I, they can hit on me all they want. Like, I don't know. Also, like, not everybody knows that you're, like, not everybody. You don't have it written on your forehead. Like. No, they know. I don't know. Guys, we've been trying to figure out how, what else to say during this episode. Nothing's coming to mind. <laughs> I know, think we went over everything we could. And, like, that's okay sometimes. Also, by the way, like, we don't care about the double standards. Do we care about any of this? I do. I do for, like, the person I'm dating. I want to have a certain role in my relationship, but I don't care in life. You don't like, care. I don't think there's anything I can do, can't do because I'm a woman. You don't care that I have to come out and you don't? For you. I care for you because you care. Thank you. Yeah, I care for you because you care. I don't like, like that double standard. I don't like that for you, no. But you like it for other gay people. If it makes people uncomfortable, I hate it. Does it I don't make you want uncomfortable? No, it doesn't make me uncomfortable. I don't care what you guys do. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you just, you don't, don't mind, you're saying don't you don't mind that society um, makes this come out. No, I care for you. Yeah, if that's, that's like, because I would have no idea. I've never had to come out. I wouldn't know. No, I know about you. Okay, do you like the double standard or not? Of coming out? Of uh, gay people having to come out and not straight people. I don't think about coming out or anything. Like, I've I never thought about you're it my life. I know you don't. You're not gay. No, I'm saying, do you like that double standard or not for gay people? Like, not thinking about yourself, thinking about gay people. Yeah, if gay people don't like it, then I don't like it. But I can't say if I like it or not, because I, I would never have to live... I have never had to do it or live through it. You can say, like, objectively, you don't think that um, gay people should have to come out because straight people don't. I don't think they do have to come out. Yeah, so you... I think there's, like, a societal norm and, like, pressure on them, but I don't think anyone has to do anything they don't want to do. Right, so you agree that... Like that nobody double, had a gun to your head. You agree like, that that double standard is negative and not good. I, I mean, I guess I... Yeah, I guess I don't like it. All right. Cool. It's crazy that Saya can lick your hand all she wants, but I can't lick any part of your body. No one can. <laughs> <It's Saya. laughs> I'm solely that for Saya. That seems like a double standard. Yeah, I mean, double standards, I don't think they need to be, like, erased across the board. I think that some of them are just how they are it just is what it is it is what it is and it does what it does and it's not the same for everyone and if you don't like something then surround yourself with different people that feel the same as you mm -hmm. and then the double standard won't exist like if you're a woman that wants to split the bill with a man then get a man that wants to split the bill if you're not then get a man that doesn't want to split the bill right like m i know for a fact that my brother would be insulted if his fiance like tried to pay for something in front of him like that's the kind of double standard i like but if you don't like that and you want the man to like want you to pay then get that and that's the same with every double standard that we said today like if you don't like the double standard then don't live by it period well ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching today there's been a lot of double standards today and um you know really opened my eyes to nothing <laughs> to nothing <laughs> to nothing i hope you learned nothing because i didn't either i actually um, might have lost brain cells <laughs> <laughs> my iq plummeted today <laughs> but anyways we'll see you every single thursday right here on disney channel and ba -da -ba -ba -ba. isn't that the mcdonald's yeah <laughs>